There's no doubting the importance Valkyries of Chic so far is branch head to the world of Honkai Impact. It's through their actions that move the story forward. While some of their members through various circumstances have gone their separate ways, we still get to see them, just separate from the rest of the group. But it once reminded me of how the theme of group dynamics plays a major role in the story of Honkai. From the time the gang was still together, spending time with each other, through the time when we see what it's like for the characters to be away from the rest. And this brings me to a character who probably suffered the most isolating from the group. May Raiden best embodies the archetype of a traditional Japanese maiden, long dark hair, a proper way of speaking, and her cool and reserved attitude. The dynamics she shared with the group, particularly with Kiana, is that of a caretaker. Kiana is a loose cannon, who often gets herself tied up in various situations. Mei, as the more sensible and thoughtful person, often pushed Kiana forward while also keeping her from going too wild. But Mei still looks up to Kiana greatly. One thing she couldn't be that Kiana could is being optimistic. Before meeting the group, Mei was someone who was ostracized because of a scandal about her father. As a result, she became lonely. As we know, Mei became a herscher in what's known as the Nagasora outbreak. And that was when she met Kiana. Kiana saved Mei and they quickly became close friends. Kiana's confidence and optimism shown in her actions touched Mei deeply. If it wasn't for Kiana's action that day, Mei Raiden wouldn't even be alive. Mei along with her new friend got adopted by Shikso Far East Branch, led by Teresa Apocalypse. And this brings us to the initial group we're so familiar with. Mei quickly found herself needing to be saved on many occasions, often with her friends suffering greatly. She felt weak and useless. Because of her weakness, her friends ended up suffering because of it. Bronya got herself into a coma to save her. Mei failed to save her closest friend when she needed her the most. And as a result of her failure, Teresa was severely wounded. Fuhua and Himeko both paid a terrible price to save her. She couldn't do anything and she blamed herself for it. At the end of all that, half the group was gone. Mei was always chasing after her friends. Now she had no Kiana to rely on. Upon hearing the rumors about Kiana's whereabouts, she jumped on it. While she did get a reunion with Kiana, it just hit different. Kiana isn't what Mei remembered her to be, almost as if she was a different person. Mei was the major reason that Kiana doesn't want to go back, because Kiana doesn't want to hurt any of her friends after all the suffering she had caused, and she would rather bear the pain alone. Determined to take Kiana back, Mei followed her anyway. Along the way, she got injured and can only watch in horror as Kiana went on to sacrifice herself to save Ark City. Kiana didn't die from her act, but she passed out because of it. Now's her chance. But Mei isn't the only one trying to take Kiana back. Shikso also wants her back too. Mei fought to the best of her strength against Durandal, who was sent by Shikso to retrieve Kiana. Durandal took Kiana away. Mei failed to save her best friend twice. Still, Mei would get another chance upon hearing that Kiana might have escaped from Shikso custody. She did succeed in bringing Kiana back, but then the bad news came. Because of Kiana's action during Ark City, she was months away from dying and was at risk of getting taken over by Sirin. Once again, Mei couldn't do anything about it. Her friend will either die from Honkai overexposure or in the worst case scenario, by her own hands. In this pivotal moment, she got a proposal from the World Serpent to save Kiana by becoming a Hershey again and helping the World Serpent enact Project Stigma. Everything considered, Mei accepted the proposal. Mei was always chasing after her friends. She had always relied on them for support and encouragement, but now she has made up her mind to pay a terrible price to save her dearest friend. And what followed is one of the most gut-wrenching moments to date. あの日あなたは私に手を差し伸べてくれたその手を掴んだ時から私の運命は変わったあなたは a girl who would sacrifice herself for the whole world and a girl who would sacrifice the whole world just for her. 
by how the story is going at this moment, it's clear there's a setup for a final confrontation between these two. Would Mei be able to protect Hiena from herself? It's a question that will need to be resolved. And that concludes the video for today. I hope you all enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time.